Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sea Dogs. It is time now to try and take over, take over, take over the fort of Isla Baudiena, which is my best ability to pronounce it <laughs> in the the uh, most correct way that I found. I've been calling it Isla Bolina because that's when I was in my 10-year-old head, that's how I thought it was pronounced. Um, or not how I thought it was pronounced, just how I pronounced it. But uh, anyway, that's how a lot of these uh, islands are. I also called it Isla Ballerina quite a few times, too, when I was little. But I believe the pronunciation is Isla Baudiena. And uh, anyway, we are going to now sail to Isla Baudiena, or Isla Ballerina, which is what I prefer. And we're going to try to take it over. Now, what we want... It, of course, is a clear pathway to the island. Land -o. Meaning we don't want any ships because we don't need to lose any crew before Boy, attacking the fort. Even a class 6 ship could drain some crew, and we don't want that. Land -o. So let's keep trying. Oh my gosh, class 4... Ridiculous. Okay, I'm right on top of the fort, too. Let's just see what this does. Oh, no. Still not good. This is kind of frustrating. Two ships. Come on. It's not that hard to uh, have no ships guarding the fort. Really? People? Dry land. Okay, I'm just going to cut until I'm able to approach the fort without any other ships in the way. Okay, we are back. And uh, there are no ships actually guarding the fort. There are a few little ships, but no big deal. We are going to try. Hopefully sailing against the wind will be okay here. There is a little indention right in the top right of the map. That's not where we need to go. There's a pathway right above that that leads into the fort, and that's what we're trying to get to. So we just got to sail up there against the wind here, but this is actually not a bad speed compared to what it could be. Now let's go ahead and load cannonballs. Put those balls in the cannon. Starboard gun. Alright, so we just need to get to the fort. We should be plenty distance away um, between parts. I re recruited, restocked uh, all my weapons, and I changed cannons on the ship. If I hadn't done that already, I don't remember. But everything is in tip top shape. So we should be good to take out the fort in this part. It's going to be a little bit tougher, though. I think I've said that in a few parts already. This Isla Ballena fort. Taking it out isn't tougher at all, but landing in the fort and feeding the guard captain in the fort is quite a bit tougher than it has been. Um, the only thing is, I've practiced this a few times because um, taking out the fort isn't hard. So I've practiced it a few times, and it's been different every time. Sometimes it's been nearly impossible, and sometimes it's been pretty easy. So we'll see what we get. We'll probably have to reload and all that more than once. So that'll be fun. That will be some fun shit right there. We are sailing right against the wind. But we are close to that little... That little pathway area I mentioned, you see that brown stone? I don't have a cursor or anything to show you. There's a stone right there that's a little more brown, straight ahead, pretty much right straight ahead of where the boat's facing. It's a little more brown than the rest of the rock around it, and that kind of signifies the area you need to go in. And we are almost there, and the fort is on the other side of that little circular the little circular area you see inside the pathway, or after the pathway, what is. Alright, 
So there's that little brown piece of stone. And then once we get past that, we are in the pathway. And you can already see the fort on the mini-map up there. So this isn't too hard to navigate. Um, if you have a lot of wind or you're going very fast, you'll have to strike down sails and all that to get through it, but it's still not that bad. Like we're, we're really going to start picking up speed here in a second because we're going to go with the wind. I'm going to go ahead and strike down my sails. So I can get turned. And then... It's hard to maneuver the camera, though, because it's such a small area. Come down. And the aye camera aye won't aye do aye what you want it to. Aye aye. Make there we go. Aye that is navigating through that little area. So... We just need to get past this little pillar here, and then we have a straight shot at the fort. And with our cannonballs, we'll be at a plenty uh, large enough distance away from the fort that won't even hit us. Couldn't ask for any better. Alright, so once again, it's going to take a while. I'm just going to sit here pretty much like this and just light up the fort. There we go, that was perfect. So I'm just going to sit here for 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, how long it's going to take, and destroy the fort. So I'll see you guys when the fort is destroyed. Alright, the fort is destroyed. It's a good thing I decided to cut it because I got UPS came while I was trying to destroy the fort and that took a couple of minutes and was chaos. So anyway, fort is now destroyed. We can actually take a look at it too, although it's not showing anything. Awesome. Thanks, Spyglass. It gives us a little uh, 973 men. So as you can see, there are plenty of soldiers there. We're going to hit a quick save here because we will need it. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you now, I'm going to fail this first time. Um, it's probably not even going to be close. It'll be a bloodbath. Because, as you've probably seen, I suck at dueling. I am so easily faked out. Like, it's, it's sad how easily uh, these duelists can fake me out. But anyway, it's time to land and try to take Isla Baliena. Let's do it! And, yep, as you can see... Ouch! My finger wasn't on the right button! Oh my gosh! That is not what I needed! Already! All fucking ready! Oh my gosh! I had to move the camera... I had to move the camera because I bumped the mouse while I was trying to hit the button. And then I put my fingers back on the arrow pads on the wrong spot! Awesome. Well, there's a miserable fail, if I ever saw one. Oh, wait. I forgot. When you reload, you have to do one more shot on the fort because it's not destroyed anymore. But you just hit it once, and it redestroys the fort. Just like so. Now, this is where things started changing when I practiced because I would... Um, I would destroy the fort and try to take it over, and that would happen that you just saw. And then I would come back and destroy the fort again, just like I did just now, and land. And the uh, crew was way different, the boarding skill was way different. So we'll see what this is like. Nope, this is the same. Same, same situation. Okay, we can do this. As long as he does not fake us out. Well, I'll just say fake me out, because I'm sure you guys are very adept at knowing when he's fainting, and I just don't freaking pay attention. Alright, come on. And he's so hard to fake out himself, too. Alright, I'm going to have to concentrate on this. 
Come on. Swing, there we go. 719. He still has quite a bit more than I do, though. Alright, so we take off quite a bit each time. Oh, jeez. I was trying to faint, and I'm just glad that it didn't make me faint, because he would have hit me. I had no defense. Alright. Oh, it's starting to lag a little bit. Not cool game. All right, he is down to 564. If we can get him under 500 before we are under 300. Doesn't look like that's going to happen, though. Okay, well, we're just under 300. If we can get him under 500 right now, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Okay, good. He is now well under 500. No, no, fate, no. I'm so bad at that. And the game knows it. Ah, damn it. Now I'm just losing crew hand over fist. Alright, 424. 412, okay. And I'm losing three crew every time he hits me. 400, alright. He no longer has more than twice the amount that we do, at least. Although he sure is working on it. Alright. Let's hit several shots in a row here. 364. 3. 42. Man, if I could have just... If I could have just... Known that was a feint... Things would be way different right now. Okay. He is very good at knowing when I'm fainting, that's for sure. Son of a bitch! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. 265. We, we can still do this. If we can just keep from getting hit. We're only losing two at a time. Alright, 49. 41. He now has 100. Less than 100. No! Oh, shit! Why, am I, why did it recharge like that? My stamina's not even going down anymore. Except now he's... He's just straight blocking every... No! Son of a bitch! Oh my gosh! Just let me die. We gotta restart this again. Let's see a death animation here.
Jeez, finally! Oh my gosh, that took so long to do. Boys, we have a few hours to kill. <laughs> Long live the captain! So finally, many failed attempts later, we have captured, or at least... Defeated the guard captain in Isla Baliena. Um, so let's go into the town hall here and talk to Le Governor. You are the Don't be captain. tiresome. What are your terms? Okay, I'll try to talk over him. Don't be tiresome. This visit is a formal one. By right of our victory, we hereby declare this island a territory under the rule and law of England. You no longer have any authority here, and I suggest you vacate the palace as soon as possible for your own safety. Good day, sir. Fantastic. We have taken over Isla Baliena. And it is time now to sell back to High Rock and tell Gritstone of our accomplishment. So let's see the map here, see the sea map, and a nice English flag over Isla Baliena. And two pirate ships, what? Alright, good. I kept just hitting enter, hoping to not be stopped there. And it is time now. We need to talk to Gritstone. Sail to the island of High Rock and to the fort. We lost quite a bit of crew. I mean, we lost over half our crew trying to take over that fort. But, you know, they lost like 800 crew. So I guess it's uh, not, not that big of a deal then. But we don't even need to refill our crew. And you will see why in just a second here. Speed walk all the way to the town hall, and there is Alexander Gritstone. Do I know you, sir? Wait, do you know me? Whatever. I captured Isla Baliana, sir. Baliana. Spanish power in the archipelago is crippled. Excellent! I hear you conquered the main settlements of both France and Spain. I know you would succeed. I knew you would succeed. I have been recalled to England to advise His Majesty, and you, sir, you have been appointed as the new Governor of High Rock. Congratulations! Rule fairly and wisely. Good luck, Governor. What? 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 By the power given to me by God, I, the King of England, for the great benefits to the English power in the colony, for honorable affairs in war against the enemies of England, hereby pronounce the faithful servant of English crown and the people of England, Nicholas Sharp, Viceroy of the island of High Rock and all the adjoining colonies, I grant him the power to govern and protect these lands belonging to England with all rights inherent to the royal power. Come closer, Nicholas. This land is yours now. Rule this place rightfully. That was creepy when he said, come closer, Nicholas. But anyway, that is the end of the English campaign in Sea Dogs. I do plan on doing the other campaigns. Um, like I said before, I'm going to use a save point um, along the English campaign and just... Change sides, go to the French, Spanish, whatever. I think next we will do the French, so I will see you guys uh, then. I'm not sure which save point I'm going to be using, but I'll decide that between parts. So yeah, see you guys then. Thanks for watching.